Hi, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video I'm going to be configuring protocol independent multicast sparse mode, PIM sparse mode, and the main difference between PIM sparse mode and PIM dense mode is that uh, where PIM dense mode, um, if you watch my uh, multicast lab one, you can see uh, PIM dense mode floods the, uh, you know, the, the network with, um, with traffic. Uh, and you use that on a network where most of your, um, you know, your hosts will be partaking in multicast traffic. Uh, PIM sparse mode is the opposite. Uh, it ba it basically it won't join a multicast group unless the the router actually has um, hosts uh, off of it that it knows that are are wanting to join the group. So it kind of prunes the network even farther, and it'll only allow. Um, uh, host to join the group through what's called a rendezvous point and that's what you can set up on the router and basically the rendezvous point um, just listens to determine you know if there's hosts that it knows about um, that need the traffic so what we're going to do here is and if, and if that does happen if, if there's a host that needs the traffic that it learns about um, it'll, you know, it'll go ahead and, uh, you know, start, start flooding the traffic to the, uh, the multicast host, uh, for the, uh, you know, for the source group that the host is wanting to join. And we'll take a look at this, uh, actions here now. Uh, what you can see here, I just got a real simple network, router one, router two, and router three. Router one is the source. Okay. That's going to be, we're going to source the traffic from R1, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have R3 um, join the multicast uh, group. So what we're going to do first here is we're just going to set up our basic configuration here with the uh, interfaces, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, enable our, our internet our in, I'm sorry, not internet, our IGP, our interior gateway protocol, we're just going to be using OS, OSPF, we're going to enable it on all our interfaces. Uh, we're going to create loopback interfaces here and advertise them into OSPF as well. And, okay, let's see, let's, uh, let's get started here. Okay, one second. I'll be, uh, I'm going to do a couple of configuration changes here just to speed up the process. Okay, I'm back. Um, what I did was I just um, pretty much did all the basic config. Now I'm just configuring router 3. Uh, router 1 and router 2 are um, have been configured with the interfaces and the interior gateway uh, protocol has been configured as well. Um, so I'm just uh, finishing up here with router 3. Okay, all of the routers have the loopback address assigned to them. Um, router 1, uh, loopback 0 is 1.1.1.1 router 2's is uh, loopback 0 is 2.2.2.2 and router 3's is 3.3.3.3 and also I have on router 3 an additional loopback to simulate my host that's going to join the multicast session uh, that's on loopback 20 and then I also have a um, the source of the uh, the traffic multicast traffic is um, on router one, and that's off of the loopback ten address. So again, loopback zero on router three here is going to be three dot three dot three dot three. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and configure my interfaces. Fast Ethernet at zero zero is connected to router one, so I know that's in the. Uh, range over here of uh, 192.168. Uh, for some reason I named it 20 
here. Uh, I go ahead and change this. This should be. Give me one second. Okay, sorry about that. I got a little mixed up here on my um, my network that I made. Uh, I just made a couple of revisions. Um, the network between router one and two, they're on a subnet 12. Between two and three is 23, and in between one and three is on 13. So I went ahead and updated all the routers, and I'm on router one right now, and if I do a show IP routes, you can see that I have a uh, full reachability uh, throughout the network. So what it looks like here, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, just test it. So we got to make sure we have uh, you know IP reachability before we can uh, you know before we can start configuring multicast to work. We need to make sure we have you know. Um, our IGP reachability. So from router one, uh, I'm going to do a ping to uh, router three. So I'm just going to ping 3.3.3.3. I have reachability. I'm going to ping uh, router two's loopback. I have reachability there. So overall, it looks like we're, we have reachability throughout the network. Um, to enable multicast on the router, we're just going to uh, do the command IP multicast routing from global config. And then from here, uh, what we're going to do um, to enable the uh, type of uh, multicast routing we're doing, we're going to go under the interfaces. Uh, I'm going to go under interface FA00. And we're going to be running uh, IP protocol independent multicast. We're going to be running a uh, sparse mode. Also on FA01. Uh, so IP PIM sparse mode. And if I do a do show IP interface brief, you can see. Uh, What you can see here is the uh, I loop back 10. I'm also going to uh, put that into um, add that to the uh, configuration in the sparse mode. So interface loop back 10, IP pin sparse mode. Alright, so I'm on router 2. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to advertise. First, I'm going to enable multicast routing on the uh, router. So it's IP multicast routing from global config. Then I'm going to go into my fast Ethernet interfaces and uh, do the command IP PIM sparse mode. So you can see there I got a, my neighbor, my first neighbor adjacency has come up for sparse mode. Um, so now what I'm going to do. Uh, let's enable sparse mode on the uh, fast using at zero one interface here. So that's done. So if I do a show IP PIM neighbors, I can uh, I can verify my PIM neighbors are out. So you see here, uh, my neighbor to uh, router one is uh, reachable via fast using at zero zero. So I'm going to go to router three and. Um, Finish this off here. Again, from global config, enable IP multicast routing. Then I'm going to go into my fa my uh, my fast Ethernet interfaces and enable uh, sparse mode. Is that what we're going to be doing today? Is we're going to be using sparse mode? You can see my neighbor.